What's up everybody, it's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sitting in my comfortable little nook and I want to bring you guys some video game news. Now I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to playing this game Dying Light. The Dying Light is made by the same developers who made Dead Island 1 and 2, Dead Island Riptide. And um, it's a real similar game to that. It's a post-apocalyptic zombie game where you're you know running around dismantling and killing zombies. And uh, it has a day and night cycle and at night time zombies get harder. Uh, Kind of similar to Castlevania 2, old school, um, and it, it's graphically a very uh, beautiful game. It looks really awesome, and uh, I saw this game months and months ago, like back when the PS4 first came out, is when I first saw this game, and uh, I was always excited for it because zombies is like my favorite genre. I love zombie movies, I love zombie games, I just love zombies in general, and uh, this game was slated to be released on PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, Xbox One, and PC, and now Techland has reneged and it's not coming to the last gen consoles at all so it's only going to be coming to the ps4 the xbox one and the pc and uh... they stated some reasons here that i want to give you guys and then i will give you guys my thoughts on this uh... whether it's a good idea or not this article is on gamespot.com it says last gen versions of dying light cancelled and it will be exclusive to ps4 xbox one and pc upcoming open world zombie game dying light will no longer be released on the xbox one and, P uh, and ps3 Developer Techland announced today, according to a post on Dying Light Facebook page, last generation development of the game was canceled for reasons that were tightly connected to technological sides of Dying Light. The post states that following thorough internal testing, the developer concluded that it had no choice but to leave past gen systems behind and release Dying Light exclusively on next gen consoles and PC. The post cites features including physics based lighting technology and natural movement as only possible on technologically advanced platforms. It concludes, put simply, older consoles just couldn't run the game and stay true to the core vision of Dying Light at the same time. Dying Light will be released in January of next year for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The game is being developed by Techland, who also worked on the Dead Island series. According to producer Timon Semenkalia, whatever his name is, the game will offer over 50 hours of gameplay. Is this good or bad? The question is, how far can you see? How far can you see? If you only see right in front of you, this is really bad. If you have a PS3 you don't have a PS4 or an Xbox One, this is terrible. But if you're able to see a little bit further than, you know, if you're not nearsighted, if you're kind of farsighted, this is actually really good news. Uh, the reason being, at some point in time, most of us are going to have a PS4 and an Xbox One. It just depends on how, how long you're willing to wait for it. Uh, I prefer to have a game that's only on next-gen consoles so it's not tethered to the last gen. The last gen consoles will actually ultimately make a newer gen version of the game less than it could have been. Developers very seldomly will create a PS3 and a PS4 game in tandem without holding back the PS4 as far as the technology and as far as the visual aesthetic and maybe uh, as far as you know effects, sound, uh, and overall aspects of the game, especially an open world game. If you have an open world game on the PS3 and the PS4 and they're both being developed in tandem and the PS4 version is going to be held back because the developer still wants that huge audience of PS3 players to feel comfortable and feel like, oh, I got a good version of the game too. So the PS4 version will be real similar. Now that they're eliminating this PS3 version, the PS4 version will be all that it can be. It's like the old Army commercial. It's going to be better for us. Um, and, and whether or not you can see that is, I guess, depends on you as a gamer. Uh, maybe you don't have a PS4 right now, but Christmas is right around the corner. Talk to your mom and dad. Save up some money. If you can't get it this year, get it next year. But ultimately, you will have one. And when you do have a PS4, and you look at a game like Dying Light, and you say, damn it, if they, if it did not come on PS3, they, maybe they would have been able to do this. This may have looked better. Now we can actually say that, and I think it's actually a really good idea. Here's a good example of what I'm talking about. The game, The Evil Within. Great game. I love it. But graphically, it doesn't look like a PS4 game. It doesn't. I mean, it looks like a really polished well-made PS3 game uh, and it has some really nice features but graphically it does not look like what you'd expect a PS4 or even an Xbox One game to look like because it's on all platforms. It's on the PS3, it's on the 360 so when you're developing on all the, these platforms you don't want to alienate the PS3 and the 360 audience by creating a much better product on the PS4 and Xbox One so you try to keep them as compatible as possible so that the changes are as minute as possible. If a person play, playing a 360 version goes to the Xbox One version, you want them to say, hell no, I'm never playing 360 again. You want them to say, okay, well, the 360 version is pretty good. 
So that's what that's what's going to happen, and that's what would have happened here. Dying Light wouldn't have been as good as it could have been. I'm happy the developer had the balls to say that uh, you know we're going to let go of that 80 million audience and move forward with this game on the PS4 and the Xbox One. I think it's a good idea. You guys, let me know what you think about Dying Light being canceled on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Only, I mean, PS3 3 and Xbox 360, and only coming to PS4 and the Xbox One in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, support me. Subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.